As early as the 19th century, writers and artists and scientists around the world began to publish their visions of a crude outpost in space. In 1869, author Edward Everett Hale penned The Brick Moon, a short story about a satellite built from 12 million bricks. At the turn of the 20th century, Russian scientist Konstantin Tsiolkovsky proposed ideas about human spaceflight, including an orbiting space station. In 1923, Romanian math teacher Herman Oberth published a treatise that included an orbiting refueling station for a manned trip to Mars. A few years later, in 1929, Austrian engineer Hermann Nordung wrote of a giant wheel-shaped platform that rotated to produce artificial gravity. One of Oberth's students was famed rocketeer Werner von Braun, who in late 1945 developed a concept for a modular, wheel-like space station that would serve as a launching point for a mission to the moon. In 1952, von Braun published a widely read series of articles about space travel in Collier's magazine. In the early 1960s, as human spaceflight programs in the United States and Russia took shape, engineers and designers began to investigate a variety of space station concepts based on then-current technology. The Soviets were the first to establish an orbiting space station, Salyut-1, launched in 1971. In 1973, Skylab was assembled from unused Apollo rocket parts and launched to become America's first orbiting space station. Three crews flew aboard Skylab for a total of 171 days on orbit, conducting a variety of scientific experiments and observations that demonstrated the value and the potential for space-based research. A temporary space station was created when an American Apollo Command Module spacecraft docked with a Russian Soyuz ship on July 17, 1975. Apollo Soyuz was a viable example of international cooperation the keystone and the foundation of the global partnership that would result in the construction of the International Space Station. With the launch of the first space shuttle on April 12, 1981, America resumed flying men and women into space. We can follow our dreams to distant stars, living and working in space for peaceful economic and scientific gain. In his 1984 State of the Union address, President Ronald Reagan announced the construction of a permanently crewed space station. Eleven nations signed a formal agreement with NASA to participate in the development and construction of space station freedom. In February 1986, the Soviets began construction of their modular space station, Mir. By October 1990, Congressional budget changes mandated a complete redesign of the Space Station Freedom Project with an emphasis on affordability. In 1993, NASA was directed to maximize the new station's scientific capabilities and leverage Russia's considerable experience in space station operations by inviting Russian participation in the American Space Station Project. The result was a global partnership of 15 countries that learned to work through differences in culture, language, politics, design, manufacturing, management, and operational styles. During phase one of the space station program, between February 1994 and June 1998, space shuttles made 11 visits to Mir, and seven NASA astronauts lived aboard the Russian station. The experience gained from this series of flights was invaluable and set the stage for the design, development, and construction of the greatest engineering project in the history of mankind, a state-of-the-art research laboratory orbiting our planet.